Sorry guys, I'm kind of slow with voiceover today. Hi guys, um, it's me and um, my gonna be reviewing a special boppet that is really rare. Um, the Boppet Extreme 2 keychain. I can't beat this for you today because look at my left hand compared to my right. Yeah, pretty bad, huh? Almost broke it yesterday. I was jumping on the bed with my cousin and I flipped. Well, so my cousin likes to climb onto the back of the couch and then he jumps and and lands on the mattress. So I tried to do a cool trick. I jumped. I spun twice in midair. Then I flipped. My feet hit the edge of the bed. I literally flipped over and landed on my arm. Which, my hand. But yeah, this is a rare boppet. No one had, well, Daniel Ingraham and Sam Locke has it. I think Sam Locke has it. I'm not sure. Boppet. Says he has it. Okay, I can't beat this. All the keychains are backwards from how I do it. The touch is on the right in the keychains. Well, if you want to bop it on the front. But well, that's not beating it for. Because it's a 25. The beat doesn't change. Oh, crap. Um, the beat doesn't change. And, um... So the beat does not change, and you just heard it goes poof. It does the sound effects, not actual scoring. The keychain clip is the best I've seen on Boppets, except for the carabiners. Um, because it's just like a chain with a simple clip at the end. The other ones are really hard. Like, especially the Boppet Extreme is really hard. Um, no volume, no beat bop and vox pop, just the Bop it. It's off. Pull it can twist all the way around. It doesn't affect it. It's not like in the 2000 Boppet original. Keychain. Crap. Man, guys, I cannot do this today because my hand. It's all swollen. Um, so, it's a mini Boppet Extreme 2. Um, if you hold it so the Boppet is facing towards you, then the pull is on the bottom left, twist it's on bottom right, flick it's on top right, and spin it's on top left. And um, I would beat this, but I, I beat it in my last video because before I uh, freaking almost broke my hand. Um... So, on the back, it has the battery door. This is a very rare electronic game, along with the one player, click it. No, um, I'm, I would have to click it do that, but it's in my backpack right now, and uh, I just didn't feel like getting it out for this video because I just now thought of doing that while I'm in the midst of making the video. Spin it feels like the Buffett Extreme 2. Spin it, the flick it feels like it, but pulls out. The twist it. Um, the twist it doesn't exactly, because, you know how on Boppet Extreme 2, this, it's smooth on the front? Well, on this one, it has a small hole, and all the older keychains, like, let's get my Boppet Original pen, which I'll review next. It has that, too. And the Boppet Extreme keychain. But look, if I take my Boppet Shout Carabiner, it doesn't, because it's a newer Boppet, but, so... It's a mini Boppet Extreme 2. There's nothing really special about it. It does something weird when you win, though. It thinks you. It says the. No, it does the sound effect for 250, but when it says high score, it just does 25. So, which is what it actually goes up to. So, um, the pull it once again can twist. It only goes. Bop it. So it has a. Bop it. A, I mean, a pull it, a spin it, a flick it, and a. High score. Twist it. The um, the. Bop it. I mean, pull it. Says, it. tells you to bop it. So the bop it flex game turns on. The uh, twist it tells you high score, which is I've beaten it obviously, so it's 25. The flick it and spin it do nothing. And um, that is about it for this um, review. I can't really think of anything else to say about it except for I like that it's portable because on my other extreme too, I took it in the car and I could hardly play it. And I had to wear my headphones the whole time, which meant having to unplug them from the adapter from my iPhone 7. 7 Plus, actually. All right, I'll talk to you guys in my next review, which will probably be of my Bop Pen. I'm not sure.